Get ready to see more green and white in downtown Flint as MSU prepares for a big expansion in the vehicle city. It's all thanks to a generous contribution and a grant from the Mott Foundation. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Harris. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Michigan State University's College of Human Medicine is taking over the old Flint Journal building in downtown. The new Flint campus will anchor MSU's public health program, and downtown neighbors couldn't be happier. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph in the newsroom with our top story. Walter, how big is this grant? Well, Bill, this grant is $9 million and helps establish an endowment for MSU's public health program in Flint. This program will help train physicians at Genesee County's three hospitals. Downtown neighbors say they can't wait for more people in Flint's core. Ashley McDermott all ready to welcome downtown Flint's newest neighbors. I'm really excited about it. I think we've got a prime location. The table and tap bartender hoping MSU's Flint students will stop by for a drink or two. They're down here during the daytime, uh, so you know they're, they're going to be down here eating lunch. There'll be more people working uh, and learning in downtown Flint. At least 100 more people taking classes at the old Flint Journal building. They'll get hands-on experience at Hurley, McLaren, and Genesis Medical Centers. It helps solidify the, um, the downtown area with more students, more professionals. It's an opportunity to grow, uh, an opportunity for the growth in our health care and economic development sectors. The Mott Foundation ensuring that growth with a $9 million grant to MSU for the expansion. Going to give the program permanence here in Flint. And if you ask McDermott, it's money well spent. There's a lot of buzz, uh, a lot of new faces all the time. Bill, MSU expects to take over the building this November. Flint is now MSU's third public health campus behind Lansing and Grand Rapids. In the newsroom, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News. Bill. All right, Walter, thanks. Uh,